Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Roger here today and in today's video I'm going to tell you guys who are my dream collabs for Ed, dream collaborations for Ed in the future that at Christmas time we've got a dream collaboration with Sir Elton John with Merry Christmas and maybe later on this year we'll get the other collab song with Elton, pull my Christmas cloth you'll get more than a bang. Yes, <laughs> and and yeah, and there's nothing much to talk about, and I thought this idea of a, vi of a video, Ed Sheeran's dream collapse, and yeah, let's get on with the video. Like, I've literally just wrote them all down, and it's on the screen here. Um, yeah, and the first one, Adele. I know that Ed said he, he maybe if it's up to, at that time, uh, I know Adele doesn't do many collabs. No, but you know what? It's so funny because people say like, okay, you've teamed up with Elton John, you yeah. know, also uh, Taylor Swift. Any chance of an Adele? Collaboration. Well, she doesn't really collab with anyone, right? So uh, maybe it's uh, baby. I'm cold. Maybe it's cold outside. Maybe no, I think one. you know she's she, uh, she. Her thing is so good that like you don't you don't want to you don't want to mess right. with that. I actually I've known her for about fifteen years though. Her she, she used to tour with a guy called Jack Pinati that my um, cousin was the housemate of Jack's drummer. So she, and she used to open up when she was younger. She used to sit on a stool with a bass guitar and sing. So mm. I ended up seeing her at all these tiny, tiny, tiny shows. So when she obviously went on and had success, I had success about three years later and yeah. we bump into each other and it's it's it's, re it's really nice to have someone that you've known for that long. I mean, I don't know her like super, super well, but it's really lovely to, you know, we're both British and ha I think have quite a, f a fair bit in common. And yeah, she's lovely. Collab with Adele. That will break. That will break records. Ed Sheeran and Adele, the two biggest British acts of the past decade. Massive. Maybe the past two decades. I don't know, guys. But definitely the past decade. Yeah. Ever since the breakthrough in 20... Well, Ed's breakthrough in 2011. I think Adele in 2008. Yeah. But then just world domination, isn't it? Like, but then... But, but they're both down-to-earth people as well. Like, for example, I was watching... Came up on my Instagram, Adele, like, blast. So she had to cancel her Vegas show. She, she rung her fans, FaceTimed her fans. Like, it's so amazing from Adele. Like, amazing. And Ed, Ed's all, always down to earth with, with everyone who he meets. Uh, yeah, especially his fans, especially his fans. The next is Sir Paul McCartney. That will be, an, that'll be ama an amazing collab. You know, a, a, a Beatle and Ed. Paul McCartney and Ed Sheeran, that would be an amazing song with them both. Two of the greatest songwriters on a song. <laughs> Paul McCartney wrote some of the biggest songs ever. Uh, I'm not a Beatles fan. He wrote, yeah, yesterday, I think, yeah. He's, and he's wrote so, so many well-known songs for the Beatles, Paul McCartney has, and for himself as well. I'm not a Beatles fan, but everyone's a Beatles fan. But I know it was some song like yesterday, and I travels by the way. Yesterday, Ed Sheeran some yesterday. Ed Sheeran. Um yeah. Yeah. Well no 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 let it be, let it be, let it be. What's a wisdom, let it be da, da, da. let it be na, 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 na. Yeah. Paul McCartney and Ed Sheeran, two of the biggest songwriters of all time. Of course, yes. Imagine what that song's gonna be. The next dream club is Nisloppy. Because of course, one of Ed's biggest influences in music is Nisloppy, like the beatboxing and all that. Like Ed actually well, Ed actually went on Ed's first ever tour well, tour it was like work at work experience for Ed being like a tour, like putting up all the everything and the equipment, like having experience of what um, on stage and touring and that. Like seeing through Nisloppy and imagine like some of these could be on number seven or number eight collaborations projects and Ed save Ed saving some of these uh, uh, it's for the collaboration projects number seven and number eight who knows guys but, but Nisloppy he, he wrote a song called Two Blokes and a Double Bass which is pretty much which is about Nisloppy on Want Some yes uh, Two Blokes I'll do it again uh you gotta check your distance. Chicka boom boom, chicka boom, jeep, beatbox, BS flip flop. Yeah. 
music in my hand. Chicka boom. Yeah. And there's Loppy and Ed Sheeran. I think one of Ed's biggest influences in music is Niz Loppy. On to the next one. Damien Rice, another massive influence for Ed as well. This is why these these guys are in this video because they're massive influences to Ed. Uh, yeah. Damien Rice, Ed Sword was a massive Damien Rice fan. When he was 11, he met Damien backstage and he told him to you know, write songs and Ed started writing songs and here we are today with the biggest, <laughs> the greatest songwriter of our generation in my opinion. Well, maybe the greatest songwriter of all time, but that's my opinion, guys. Yes, like if Ed, if Ed didn't meet Damien Rice when he was 11, and also Damien used to play the loop pedal as well. Yeah, and play guitar. Oh, that's one of the biggest edits, and, and you and me. I went to some of my names and lights at Stadium Heights with Damien and Rice. Imagine, maybe on the mathematics store sometime. Damien Rice is a support app for Ed. And they sing the song on stage. Stadium Heights with Damien Rice. <laughs> you can't, you can't make this up. Ed, Ed's looks into the future. Yes. Like, amazing. Uh, the next is Bob Dylan, like, one of other... Ed is a, uh, another influence for Bob Dylan, where he listened to Bob Dylan in a car with his dad, and someone said Eminem is the next Bob Dylan. Also, we want another Eminem collab with Ed, or number seven or number eight. Yes. But, you know, we've got three Eminem songs, and Ed's songs, yes. But, yeah, Bob Dylan... That would be, I love like maybe a slow, like slow song, which would be so chilling in that by Ed and Bob Dylan. Yeah. The next one, Just Jack. I actually just listened to a Just Jack song. Uh, I forgot what it is. The Apples and the, the, the. You don't even know the stars on the rise. You don't even know the stars on the rise. Stars on the rise. Um, you know that the God stars on the rise. It's the same old story. Yeah, just Jack, Ed Sheeran. Pretty much just Jack was Ed's first ever proper tour, I believe. Yeah. Or was it in his lobby? I'm not sure. One of, one of Ed's first like support acts he, he played was just Jack's. And yeah, that would be an amazing collab. Just Jack and Ed Sheeran. And I love that. Da -da -da -da. It's the same old story. Yeah. Uh, stars, stars on the Rise, that's the song. Stars on the Rise, I don't know why I keep forgetting the song. Such a bop, like... Uh, yeah, just Jack and Ed Sheeran. Yes, the next dream collab, Jamie Foxx. Because, you know, when Ed was in LA in 2010, Jamie saw potential in Ed. That early on in Ed's career, like... And which made, made Ed on the foxhole with Jamie and let him use his studio and sleep on Jamie's sofa, like, that opportunity but Ed early on in, in his career. But Jamie Foxx, a well-known actor, I think he's an artist as well, yeah. That's a dream collab right there, Jamie Foxx and Ed Sheeran. I know Jamie Foxx has done a song with Kanye West. And uh, you know, she's a dog, gold digger. And uh, then uh, broke, the broke, good girl, do I get it down. But also imagine a Kanye West and Ed Sheeran song as well. That'll be mad. That'll be crazy. Kanye West and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> that is not on my list. But imagine Kanye West and Ed Sheeran, and Jamie Foxx and Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Uh, example. People say, "Oh, they got the Nando skunk." But imagine an actual example in Ed Sheeran song, studio song. Or imagine if they just record a studio version of the Nando skunk. Or a movie, a sausage roll skunk with a lab baby, I'm joking. A sausage roll Nando skunk. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Uh, yeah. Example in Ed Sheeran. I think they did, I'm not too sure. I think they did record a song, which is, was cut from number five. I think Ed, Ed said he did a song with Example, which we thought, which Ed said it was going to be on number five, but of course it isn't on number five. Like, artists like Example, GME, Skepta... Gets, yeah. Grand artists, innit? And also, Example was another support act that 
Ed supported example on tour as well back in 2010 or 2011. Not entirely too sure, but yeah, example saw potential in Ed as well. When example was massive in the UK, like, uh, I forgot one of the songs, but example was massive in the UK, like early 2011, 2010 ish, yeah. Uh, Snow Patrol, another. Ed always writes with Johnny McDade, and why not have the full Snow Patrol and Ed Sheeran on a song? Yeah. Uh, I know that they did a song called, well, on stage called, not Ed's New York, but I think Snow Patrol's New York song. Uh, but imagine like Snow Patrol and Ed Sheeran, because their Snow Patrol took Ed on their North American tour in 2012, I'm not entirely too sure. But yeah, Snow Patrol, yeah, that'd be amazing. Snow Patrol, Ed Sheeran. Most like will happen because Johnny Johnny McDade always writes with Ed, maybe, maybe who knows, with Gary Lightbody. That was an amazing performance at iTunes Festival 2012, where Ed played Trees and Cars and Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol come on stage with Ed, as well. Yeah, that's why. Another, yes, uh, Doctor Dre, that would be amazing. Doctor Dre and Ed Sheeran, and. Ed did say on the number six interview with Charlemagne the God that if Dr. Dre does end up watching the, this interview, he, he's not, he, like, he doesn't want to feel like, nervous, like, oh, this is Dr. Dre. But because like, Ed did a song, three songs with Eminem, and 50 Cent featured on one, Remember the Name, hey, hey. But uh, that would be amazing, like, Dr. Dre beats. I don't know, maybe after Snoop Dogg, Ed Sheeran, and Snoop Dogg, and Dr. Dre. Number seven collaboration projects. <laughs> yes, mate. But, you know, that'd be crazy. Dr. Dre and Ed Sheeran on a song. <sighs> I'll play you guys that Dr. Dre little The only thing that song's missing is Dr. Dre drums. But I know. Nothing. I just think yeah. it's weird to go with, just with someone with a complete track and just be like, please just put your name to it. Yeah. I think if, if Dr. Dre does end up watching this, which who knows if, if, if he will, but like... He is someone I would love to work with, and I'd, I wouldn't feel comfortable being like, here's a song, put your name to it. I'd want to go in and create a song. So I know we've got I Will Be There by Eric Clapton featuring Angelo Mysterioso, a.k.a. Ed Sheeran. But Ed Sheeran doesn't actually feature on the song. It's Angelo Mysterioso. Like, uh, but, 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 uh, we, need, we need like an Eric Clapton featuring Ed Sheeran, or Ed Sheeran featuring Eric Clapton. <laughs> but, like, Ed Sheeran first saw... Eric Clapton at the, or oh, which Jubilee was it? It was in 2002, I think, Silver Jubilee. And then 10 years after, Ed played the Diamond Jubilee in 2012. Yeah, that's just full circle right there for Ed. Where, and then that's when Ed started playing guitar. First, first, Layla, started playing Layla on the guitar. Uh, yeah, and then it met Nerian Rice, and then Miss Lumpy, duh, 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 and all the things came to working on Ed's craft. By like all these people, which I've talked about in this video, where there could be dream collabs for Ed in the future. That would be amazing, like full circle effect for Ed. Ed Sheeran um, inspired to make music by these people. I don't know, maybe not Adele Hall, maybe Paul McCartney, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but... Like Eric Clapton. Not I Will Be There, but an actual, well, features Ed Sheeran or Ed Sheeran featuring Eric Clapton. That would be amazing. Um, which one next? Uh, Van Morrison. Ed, Ed said in the past he is inspired by Van Morrison's music as well. Like, thinking out loud is like a Van Morrison vibe as well. Yeah. Yeah, or Ed Sheeran featuring Van Morrison on maybe number seven or number eight. Like I've said in the... Well, I said I actually said it in the past, like on number seven theory video, or... Yeah. Yeah, Ed Sheeran and Van Morrison. Um, Gary Dunn, the guy who teached Ed how to use the loop pedal. Yes. That would be an amazing... Maybe just them to just mix it up on the loop pedal, like... Then a loop pedal, boom, boom. Hey, 
like a like a like a folk like type song. I don't know <laughs> on the loop pedal. Yes, I think Ed also mentioned in the past like Joni Mitchell as well. Joni Mitchell and Ed Sheeran. That would be amazing. Yes, we have Gary Dunn and Ed Sheeran a loop pedal type song, like a live loop song recorded. Uh, yeah, uh, Jay Z. I know for Jay Z, I know you guys are like. Oh, it was about to be on Take Me Back to London. Exactly. It was cut because Stormzy wanted it to just Ed and, Ed and Stormzy. I almost said Ed and Elton. Ed and Stormzy. Just on Take Me Back to London. And Jay-Z was like, okay. That's okay. Like, I don't think anyone's ever done that to Jay before. But, but yeah, an actual Ed Sheeran and Jay-Z collab song. That would be metal about, I don't know, like... I know Jay's from, like, New York, and that's from... <laughs> no. But, I don't know. Ed's done songs with Eminem. <laughs> Jay-Z. I'll be, I'll be cra- that'll be crazy. Jay-Z and Ed Sheeran on a song. I know he was about to be, I know who was about, ah, I knew who was about to be on Take Me Back to London with Ed and Stormzy. But, yeah. Also, the last one is Drake. Yes. Ed actually did say on a interview on Apple Music in 2017, he would love to do a song with Drake. You love it when Drake flows. Um, yeah. I need a one dance. One more time and I go. I know that in the flow, but... <laughs> I need a one dance. Uh, I'm too sexy for this. <laughs> uh, that's future thing, that bit. Uh, yeah. J- uh, no, Drake and Drake and Ed Sheeran on a song. That would be... That would break records because we, we know that Drake has high streaming numbers and Ed has high streaming numbers. That will break streaming records, I think. Or maybe the Adele Drake song. I know we've already... Yeah, I'll play that I'll play that bit for you guys right now where Ed mentions he'd love to do a song with Drake. That'd be so crazy. I think someone like Drake as well would be really fun to work with. Yeah, you two are very melodic. I'd want him to rap, though, because I love it when he raps. When he's, like... like when he's barring. Yeah, yeah when, when he's, he's a little bit vexed. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys, that is all my dream collabs for Ed, pretty much. Because there isn't that many people left in the music industry as a whole to Ed, to collaborate with. Maybe like, I don't know, Gary Barlow, Robbie Williams. That will all be amazing. Kylie Minogue. I know the I know the songs together at Michael Gudinski's memorial, singing Locomotion and... Oh, what's that other song? That's the song, All the Lovers, as well with Locomotion as well at Michael Gudinski's memorial. Um, maybe Rod Stewart, that would be a good song. Good collab for Ed. Uh, Neil Diamond, yes. I'm just naming whoever now, who's been in the industry for a long time. Like, legends of the industry. I don't know, maybe... I know this might never, never ever happen because he sadly died. Or oh, these artists, Michael Jackson and Ed Sheeran. Or an Elvis Presley in Ed Sheeran collab. I know they sadly passed away, but imagine an unreleased song featuring Ed on break records or like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think more, but I think that's about it. Do you guys know any more people who 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 you'd love Ed to do a song with? Link them in the description, guys. And yeah. Maybe like a songwriting, there'll be a lot of people songwriting credits. Blackpink songwriting credit, yeah. I know we've got BTS, Permission to Dance, Permission to Dance and Make It Right. Uh, that'll be another video for who, <laughs> uh, no, more songwriting credits for Ed as well. Do a Libra in Ed Sheeran. That'll be an amazing song. Get like the 80s funk again, like all of Dua's latest album, like Ed's been experimenting with that sound as well with Fred again. On like eight is type boom 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 boom. Yeah. Uh yeah, do believe in Ed Sheeran. Like a modern day pop massive song. Pop massive collab. Do you believe in Ed Sheeran? Um <laughs> I just thought of a random name. Dolly Parton and Ed Sheeran. Country country singer. Country song. Yes. We hear Dolly Parton and Ed Sheeran collab. Um, yeah, that you know what, that'll be it. If, if you guys got any more 
artists you want Ed to collaborate with, please link them in the description. And also, guys, I've still got my birth the birthday project for Ed, uh, which will be which I don't have many people participating, but I've still got some people, which is a good thing. Thank you, guys, whoever is participating or participating yeah i don't know now <laughs> so yeah guys and if you guys enjoy this video of me just rambling along for ed share and stream collaborations please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video peace